It was in the name of fashion. I don't regret it. Hi. I really don't want to be holding this mic. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like extremely hot in the city that I'm in and I cannot close my window and I cannot turn off my AC. So we're going to be dealing with this today because this is the only mic that only picks up your voice rather than like literally everything around you. In any case, we're going to be ranking the Winx Minor Fairies minor as in background characters this tier list has been created by rosy vision i actually shared their video before on my community page i don't know if you've seen it but i shared it because i thought it was a great idea and i really liked it so we're going to rank these girlies today so the first fairy we have here is aisa i don't know if it's ahisa or aisa i don't know if the h is silent or not but it is this fairy right here and it's a cute outfit i am not a big fan of um, gray being used in cartoons not because it doesn't look good per se but because oftentimes the way that it's used it's not really ideal and i think that honestly here i kind of like it i really love the wings i think that they're really cute i also really like the headband the hair is really cute i choose to believe that it's supposed to be silver maybe it's not maybe it is supposed to be just gray but either way it's still cute she is a fairy of love so it makes sense that she would have hearts you know here and there i think that the only thing i am not a fan of is the shoes but i don't hate them either because i think that they kind of look like lilies a little bit overall a pretty solid transformation especially because it's within the winx um, magic winx transformation so it's one of the simpler ones and also i'm just gonna tell you right away that we're not adding their powers to the ranking you know it's mostly outfit based okay we're we're ranking transformations and the design of them this girly is gonna go to a pretty solid transformation next one is alice fairy of eyes first and foremost i am such a sucker for ice powers oh by the way forgot to show you look how cute the hair is like the hair bands and stuff like that it's such a cute yeah it's a really cute transformation honestly she could be one of the main wings alice um it's a confusing one to me because first and foremost i am a sucker for ice but here we've got this weird combination where on one hand she does have this somewhat of a corset type of thingy but i just don't don't love this transformation i think it is a little bit underwhelming i guess i don't know i think that what i didn't like about it is mostly the combination of like, the colors with the cape this half cape it's more kind of i would say that it's high low skirt but it's not really it's mo more of a cape and this cape is just way too short it doesn't know what to do with itself so it looks kind of a little bit strange i feel kind of indifferent towards it the only thing that i do like about it is mostly the wings i like that there's an outline but this is like a stylized situation everyone gets a um an outline on the wings so the cape is such an interesting idea but at the same time it doesn't quite make sense because it um ends abruptly and the color is not really matching anything else in this outfit see ahiza's outfit is so much better but i i don't hate this but i think that it's a bit of a weak addition i would say that it's a strong c close to b but let's be a little bit harsher sometimes because otherwise it's boring <laughs> i do like that she's a fairy of ice i really like ice based transformations so the next one is emerald and she's a fairy of starlight emerald she's the one that she attacked stella in class i don't know what the hell her problem was but i guess otherwise she's chill <laughs> kind of feel um strangely about her outfit because there are like a couple of things i do like so for example i really love her wings the wings are really pretty i also like that they are experimenting with color that it's not always boring colors because this is a very interesting color to use for a transformation in my opinion especially when the transformations are not like earth inspired less versace-esque as wings is but in this case in particular what i don't like about it is the top it looks a little bit too much like a tank top and the type it doesn't really feel like it fits aesthetically speaking here but overall i really think that it's an interesting look yeah i'm gonna put her in a strong c just know that she's high up because of the wings i am not a fan of what it ended up looking like but i do like the ideas overall i think that they were quite interesting especially using this olive color not like a standard 
color to use in the Winx world, I feel like. The next one is Aurora, Major Fairy of the North. So Aurora is, listen, I need you to just look at this. Oh, this is crazy good, like crazy good. I, I don't want to hear nothing about it, okay? No criticisms or anything, because girl, what do you mean? Seriously, look at the wing. The wing shape is just gorgeous. It's literally insane. Look at the boots. They have a bit of fur going all around it. This is the cape that kind of makes more sense. It's kind of really long and it trails behind her, but it just makes more sense in my opinion. I don't know, girl. She's killing it. I am putting this in S and I don't want to hear shit about it, okay? Uh-oh. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> she looks fantastic. This is an amazing design. They kind of snapped on the designs of the major fairies in season four. That was crazy. That was insane. Genuinely. Yeah, they did that. They did that. That was amazing, honestly. Okay, so Daphne. Nymph or Sirenix. I know that there's a lot of fans of Daphne out there. And I want to talk to you honestly right now. If this outfit that we were talking about wasn't the Sirenix outfit, but it was a nymph outfit that she had before. You know, the one that she was wearing when she lost her corporeal form or whatever. If it would have been that look, she would go into the S tier no questions asked because that was a great great outfit and it fit the world very well because because there was this major difference between what the girls looked like you know the regular fairies like bloom and stella and flora and um what they looked like with their enchantix and what they looked like with their serenix to compare i mean i'm not even gonna bring serenix into this i don't want to talk about it but there was definitely a major difference in terms of what Daphne looked like to compare to all the other fairies. And they're, they're supposed to be a difference. She's one of the main nymphs. She has a different fucking name. Not a fairy, a nymph. There's a difference, right? Like it, within the world, it's kind of implied that nymphs are more powerful. She was painted on the museum or carved... Like maybe her likeness was carved into it. I don't know. I don't know whether it was carved or painted or whatever the fuck. But it was. She was on the museum in Magics uh, with six other nymphs or whatever. I don't know how many it was. I think it was seven, including her. Don't quote me on that though. I just don't understand why they wouldn't let her keep that form. I understand that she has Serenix, but I just kind of don't think that it makes a lot of sense to be honest. I just don't like that. I don't like the outfit. I hate Serenix as a transformation not the lore as much as much as i just dislike the outfits i genuinely think that there's a, the laziest thing imaginable and they were already too unimaginative and too bad for the main girls the main winks let alone daphne daphne is supposed to be dripped out she's supposed to look like aurora like diana she's supposed to look like one of the major fairies on earth at least at the very least you cannot be showing me this design right here right i'm not saying she looks ugly because this is a gorgeous color i love the color that they picked for her but you cannot tell me that it's in any way like that it holds a candle to this this is a nymph all right that other girl was just one of the background characters, all right? Like, she does not have the same effect, and she's supposed to. Pissed about the fact that they gave her this basic ass Serenix. It's annoying. I'm putting her in D, and I don't want to hear it. I know that there's going to be someone in the comments being like, Oh, actually, Serenix is so powerful, and she's so par- I don't care. It's a terrible design. It, she, it goes into D. I don't know what to tell you. Dark Bloom. Listen, Dark Bloom was a, such an icon. She was genuinely so iconic. I love that they changed her eyes to this uh, more like cat eyes with the iris being vertical and elongated and i just love that they kept her, the basics of her outfit but made it goth this is so iconic i fucking love that i do this outfit in black is abs an absolute sleigh and the wings i love the shape of the wing that they chose kind of like spider webby and i love that that's such a good decision <laughs> i love that they made her hair a bit more ruffly and also it's still bloom right like all the major things about her outfit are still there they just changed slightly in the original 
cartoon, I like her design and like her animation better than in Nick. Nick made her look less evil and more... I don't even know how to describe it, but definitely there's like a big difference. And I prefer the original because I think that it just makes her look like actually an evil version of Bloom or Dark Bloom. But she is going into A. It's not like a crazy new exciting thing but it's iconic it's gothic bloom i think that we all had a moment of you know when we were little being like oh my god i love this whatever dharma she's a dark fairy if you don't remember dharma is like one of those girls who was with mitzi i believe it was season four when they got magic from the hunters it's this girl this outfit i don't think it's bad per se it's a little bad <laughs> a little bit first and foremost it's kind of like are they fairies are they not what are they they don't have the typical things that they're supposed to have as fairies honestly in general it's not a bad outfit but i do hate those goddamn leggings again they're kind of like short leggings let me show you right here it's so weird it's like just past the knee i fucking hate that length it doesn't look good on anybody i have never met a single person who looks good in leggings that are this length show me a person like that and then we'll talk about it in any case she's going into the c category it's not bad um it is definitely lower than emerald and i think it's the same level as alice so i'm gonna just put alice in between them or whatever diana my god diana major fairy of nature that girl is a bad bitch and i it's insane i i need to show you her transformation look at this that's crazy i forgot to even point the goddamn mic in my direction because this is amazing the hair those leaves this leaves on her outfit the blue thread or ribbons or whatever the hell that is absolutely fantastic her wings Oh, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. And I do love that all the girls got to, you know, dress up a bit more like the major fairy of the north and major fairy of nature when they were like fighting them or whatever. But none of the outfits that the girls had that were a variation of Belivix have a th like they can't hold a handle to Diana. They cannot. Diana is iconic. It is an S tier transformation, no doubt. Like there's no way around it. But don't think that only major fairies or fairies that have just a crazy amount of power or the supreme fairies are the ones who can get the s tier because we've got diaspora and i know that maybe some of you are not gonna like it girl shush she's just she looks great okay i love the corset she's a fairy of gem light i love the combination of you know brown eyes and blonde hair that's great combo but this is not an outfit but i'm just saying in terms of her design as a character i love her wings I don't think that anyone else has wings like this in the show. And she's got this regal thing going for her that kind of pulls from England, the knight um, era of England, I think. But there's also some Grecian vibes going on. I don't fucking know exactly what this is, what combination they used for her and all the other people who are from Heraklion. There's a lot of different things going on but look at this dress this dress is just like to die for the sleeves are absolutely insane the layering of this dress is crazy the little glove type of thing with a bracelet this is just so pretty i absolutely adore it i love that she looks like a princess i love that she's got these gems all over her she's got gems on her bracelet she's got gems corset and there's like a little collar as well i don't know just something about also these boots just so good so cute this is how you make a memorable character i think that she was so perfect in um the first couple of seasons i think that she doesn't really show up in second season but when she shows up in third season i obviously she you know does a bunch of shit so it's not great but i do love her outfit and her skirt this asymmetrical shit going on Ugh, girl she looks fantastic this is her everyday look look at the sleeves Oh, this is sick. Oh, I love it so much. You can't tell me anything. Oh, you can't tell me anything. The top, the cut right here, the skirt, the, the way that it's cut is just insane. You can't tell me that this isn't gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. This is S tier design. Eldora, listen. 
Eldora, I wouldn't say that her outfit is bad, you know, I like her wings, I think that her wings are great. I would say that I would love another color in her outfit to be an accent, but I need to talk to you about this, okay? Not to be one of those art girls who brings up foul imagery and that imagery whenever she can. I hate doing that as well. And in most artworks, I'm always like, can you, can we not? Like, why are we always talking about this? Whatever. But you can't tell me this, this outfit does not throw you off. Flowers do look quite vaginal. Okay, we know that. But not to this degree. This is, this is like intentional at this point. Because what the hell is going on? Even if you like this outfit, whatever, you cannot tell me that you like the top part, the poofy part of the sleeves, the way that they drew it. I don't know what kind of fucking sleeve it's supposed to be, but it does not look good. Same with the skirt. It just doesn't look good. The sleeves in terms of um, the lower part, this is cute. But the middle... Be serious now. Come on now. This is a C, a very weak C. And it's mostly because it just feels unimaginative. It does not make any sense. She's like a fairy godmother. Doesn't make a lot of sense in general. Francine, fairy of rivers. So with Francine, I think it's actually really interesting the way that they decided to design her outfit. First and foremost, if you don't remember Francine, she's the girl that was, I think it was season one. It might be, might have been season two. I don't remember. But she's the one who tells Palladium that she got bitten on her thigh you know and he gets like uncomfortable because the girls are just like teasing him because he's like really young and whatever her outfit i find it really really interesting i do enjoy the top part even though it is quite eccentric and maybe everyone's cup of tea i think that it looks like a stone like a gem being thrown into a river and the water splashing around or whatever the gem created some like impact on the water this is kind of the lines that we're getting here i think that it kind of looks cute and it's imaginative it's an interesting idea just in general i think that this outfit is also one of those outfits that could have been one of the main girls outfits it's quite interesting i like that there is a, this layering going on from the top part to the bottom where there's a skirt you can see right here right that this is the skirt and here is the top piece kind of continuing and i love that they're in two different shades of blue it looks really great i think that this is a type of outfit that deserves an a tier and fits her powers really well you know it's kind of um, a rarity where where you have magic wings transformation that fits perfectly with what the powers of the characters are because so the next one is francis different than francine i know too many similar names but francis is a fairy of laughter and girl has got a crazy outfit going on okay she's the harley queen of this universe all right i love the thigh high socks right the top is interesting the little cuffling thingies are interesting all of this is cute except the hat is a bit annoying because just i don't like this type of imagery in general the jester shit the wings are great i really love the shape of the wings it's cute it's a very interesting design though so this girly girl is going into b because regardless of how you feel about this outfit if you think that it's um successful or not successful design i think that it is definitely interesting and it, it has a lot to do with her powers this is more than many people can say about you know designs in general um it's imaginative it's it hits like it has something about it you know i think that she should go there galatea i don't know if i'm pronouncing her name right Gal galatea galatea Anyway, Gautaya. She is fairy of melody. She is literally the fairy of the world that Musa came from. And she is a princess. Her transformation, 100% one of the best transformation designs for Magic Wings as well. Her wings that are cleft notes, it looks amazing. It genuinely does. I absolutely adore the hairstyle that they gave her. The dress. Girl, the dress is so good. Look at this. You can't tell me anything. I will not hear it. This is amazing. I love that it has a little bit of a ballerina influence. Not everywhere. It's kind of like a Grecian princess or something like that combined with a ballerina specifically because of the shoes being a little bit reminiscent of point shoes with the tied you know strings or whatever on top as well there's a bit of a poofy skirt that's layered underneath something that isn't poofy so it's not leaning too too far into the ballerina thing but it definitely has the influences and now that i remember it actually her regular outfit is very ballerina inspired as well you can't tell me that you're not seeing some ballet core in this 
come on now her outfit here is also fantastic i just think that she's one of those characters that i wish we saw a lot more of because her design is to die for so good so good the wings are just amazing amazing the dress the color of it i i don't know what the fuck that color is it's kind of i think it's supposed to be kind of like off white with some greenish hues but it looks fantastic it genuinely does like this is one of those transformations where you're like this is magic winks too crazy this is too good too good okay the next one is karina but her outfit is just okay i think that i don't particularly like the sleeves i do not like that they kind of combine the colors real in a really strange way so she has this red bodies with this cutout it's it's okay it's cute purple wings whatever but then these sleeves that match the color combo of uh, Aisa more than her. I just don't understand what the hell is going on. Why would they add it there? It just makes no sense to me. And I'm just like not that much of a fan to be honest. It's just okay. And it goes like, you know, around Eldora. It's not as high as Alice and Emeril are because I think that they are a little bit better than all the other ones that are in that row, but anyway. So the next one is Katie, Fairy of Animals. A funky outfit because she's literally dressed like this i think it fits obviously it fits with her power it's a little strange that she has the ears the cat ears and stuff like that some furry shit going on i don't know the wings are really interesting but i don't know if they fit very well however you know i'm glad that they got a little bit of contrast going on it's not just a yellow or beige outfit listen it's funky and i don't know what to think of it it's kind of cute kind of a little weird so i'm gonna put it in b because it's got something going on that i enjoy nothing's really wrong with it but it's a little furry-ish a little so the next one is Khadija, Fairy of Rhythm. I really like her outfit. I think that it's really cute. The wings are really cute. Yeah, yeah, it's very cute. And I think that it just has a vibe about it. I think I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, Kimmy. I'm not going to lie. Don't remember the girl, but obviously I found some images or whatever. But it's a cute outfit. It's hard to figure out what it even looks like. Because I honestly, like, I did not find a lot of compelling images in terms of uh, being able to see exactly what's going on. I really like the color palette. I think that they, they nailed it with that. But it's a little bit basic and not as interesting as the other outfits that are like an A tier. So I'm going to put her in B. Very cute, but, you know, Kylie. I am really not a fan of her shorts. They just really do not speak to me. It's the one on the left. I mean, it's interesting. I'm, I'm going to give you that. Memorable. But the cut, <laughs> like it's so low rise. It just keeps on going lower and lower. Um, I think that it's interesting, but it's just not cute. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a C. Levine. I like the, the top of this three pieces. I don't know what they are. If they are just like fabric or if they're hardware, whatever it is. It's cute. But it's nothing special again. More of a C look. Here it is closer. I like the shape of her wings. I think she's a high C. Okay, can Emerald move? Maybe actually like this. Yeah. Lalina, fairy of electricity. This is some weird ass <laughs> outfit. In a good way, I guess. Not in a fantastic way. This is a very interesting outfit. I would probably assume by looking at it that it's a sound related outfit rather than electricity. I still think that it's really interesting because it, maybe it, it relates to atoms moving or the movement of particles some shit like that maybe it's related to that i think that is quite interesting it definitely goes into b just for being this experimental it's still cute like it's it's not like a hideous experimentation okay male one of those outfits again where it's kind of confusing as to why she looks so different uh because like i understand obviously that she goes to a different school right what else can we say that would explain this. No, see, that it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because she's supposed to just have magic wings. This is supposed to be her first transformation, right? She's supposed to have more in common with the girls from Alfia than she does with, like, whomever. Because Flora has a specific transformation that has the same style as the rest of the girls. So it doesn't make sense that this is so far off. It doesn't even have any sparkle. If it was at least sparkling, I would be maybe like, mm, okay, that makes sense. But it, it doesn't. It's still cute. It has some cute elements to it. I am a little bit of a hater of... Um, that piece on her head that's supposed to be either flowers or something fluffy or whatever. It looks hideous, but I think that it's a B, a solid B. A Mickey or Mikey, I'm not entirely sure. I think that her and Nova, I know that, you know, Nova is the one that was helping Stella in season three. <laughs> Thank you.
Mitzi. Hmm, you like? As a dark fairy. It's a bit of a sleigh. I think so. I think so. Yeah, it's not quite a fairy look. It's not quite a witch look. It's just uh, kind of in the middle, right? Doesn't really fit the idea of a fairy very well, which makes sense because they got this power from hunters. The glasses that fit her usual, you know, get up. The transparent wings with some purple outline, the corset, the skirt, a little bit of a punkish look. It's kind of the same, like all of them have a bit of a punkish look or maybe a bit goth not punk i think that it's the most effective with mid c so she's going into a i actually really enjoyed this outfit i think that i have a better image to show you wait let me see here the hair too i like i like what they do with the hair they always come up with something really interesting for hey the hairstyles it's really cute murda this might gonna be a little bit controversial it's just a little bit strange that they made her wings so much bigger than the other girls alfea i don't know why they would do that but i wish they used black for everything in instead of uh, gray for the shoes for example and for the straps i just think that it would look better that way but it's still a sleigh it is i mean girl it's just something about it it's such a good blend it makes sense for murda she's dressed in a more punkish gothic way she doesn't change her outfit when she transfers to alfe even though she is a fairy and stuff like that it's just who she is it's her character so this makes so much sense that it's kind of like a blend of the two uh, it's a good idea and i really like what it looked like in action it was so exciting to see her character actually have a transformation yeah She's an A. She's a fairy of illusions. Love that. Okay, so Morgana, queen of the earth fairies. Once again, how did they s just create this? And then just call it a day and give Daphne horrific Serenix transformation. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is insanely good. This is so gorgeous. The jewelry, like the body jewelry, insane. The colors are absolutely divine. This is so ethereal and just gorgeous gorgeous and i think that i also what i love about this character most is that she has a different facial structure than most of the women and girls in this series all the wings girls have a very similar facial structure obviously there's some differences but they're so minimal girl they're so minimal and this and morgana she's got high cheekbones going on she looks like a woman in charge i love that she looks great and this is such a god this transformation is gorgeous look at this such an s tier morgana needs to be the first one that's absolutely insane right after her another massive sleigh and it is nebula are you seeing this this is so good it's like making me a little angry <laughs> that's how good it is look at this Look at the see-through parts and the little mesh and the colors are so interesting. This this indigo color, this rich, rich blue. Oh, this is such a good transformation. Look at this. And this is within the show, so it's not rendered as well as stock images. That's insane. Absolutely insane. This is so beautiful. She's also going into an S-tier design because how else? How are we going to go with this? Just what the hell? God, I want this outfit so bad. You don't understand. I would wear it every day. Every day. Countess Oleana. Girlfriend, stop! Get back in the car! What in the fast food restaurant uniform is going on? What's going on? Countess? Are you sure? Countess, what happened? Did McDonald's take over the entirety of the world? We're close to it, though. We're close to it here, so I can't judge. I can't. But this is a horrible outfit. Straight up. I mean, I, I like that it's original, but it's not enough to move it up from d tier it's gonna go into d tier i'm sorry it's just everything about it is like just out outrageous i don't like anything about it the next one is hortensia and i love hortensia's outfit girl i love this transformation she's the one in uh, purple the glasses the wings yet there's not a lot of contrasting colors going on none of them actually <laughs> all of them are just shades of the same color but it is gorgeous i wish that there was more images of her like stock images that are properly would probably show off her outfit i just couldn't find any as far as i understand because i don't remember exactly i prepared it like a few days ago i think that i just did not find anything better than this these images and she's definitely going into a tier because this is good i i really enjoy this i wish we got to know what her powers are or something the next one is priscilla fairy of trees priscilla priscilla's outfit is pretty good i like it in action a lot right here you can see it really well uh reminds me a bit of plant sims and sims 2 
she's got a vibe going on, you know. It's a little bit, just a little boring because trees, she's all in green. It's very predictable type of approach. But I do like it. So she's definitely getting like the top B spot. She's not like an A type of a game girl but she's really close to it she's really close to it now roxy roxy is one of those girls that to this day i have no fucking idea what they were doing with her outfit not because it's a horrible outfit by the way her wings don't look like that in the show but not because it's a horrible outfit but because they could not for the life of them decide whether they're going to give this girl a magic wings transformation an earth fairy transformation or a believix this outfit stylistically looks more like a Believix outfit. The size of the wings, the slightly sporty athleisure wear inspirations in the cut of the clothes, everything about this outfit makes her look like part of the group. It, it makes her look like she's got a Believix. Apparently not. And I think I choose to believe that she's supposed to have this like special earth transformation just like all the earth fairies have their own transformations they don't look like they have an enchantix transformation or whatever it is so i'm just gonna assume that but i this is too much of um, the audience trying to explain away shit you know you have to be better than this you have to decide before you do things and i think that with roxy they were just like not really making a lot of sense because the decisions that they've made i i don't know the outfit is not bad I don't hate the outfit at all. In terms of the design, I'm actually going to put it in A because it is a pretty color. I love the wings are really intricate. I really like her asymmetric top with this um, arm warmer on one side. It's cute. It's cute. It's just I don't understand what the hell they were doing with it. And we talked about it before, so I'm not going to go on a, on a whole tangent. But they could have done better in the sense of um, defining what the fuck kind of transformation she even has sally the dark fairy i was kind of confused at first i was like who the hell is that and then i remembered oh the third girl from you know the group she doesn't have a slayful outfit on the same level as mitzi but it's definitely better than the other girl in my opinion just because i don't know i haven't seen fairies wearing jeans with punk adjacent belts and i just love the whole pissy goth teenager look so because of that she's gonna go into b but then we have this weird ass situation where we have celine that has the exact same hairstyle the exact same outfit as katie <laughs> that fairy of animals what the hell happened there genuinely what the hell happened <laughs> why is this a thing the only difference between her outfit and katie's outfit is that her outfit is um blue this is nonsense just because katie's outfit fit her better in terms of being connected to her powers and representing her powers better she is going to stay in b tier while selena is going to get the c tier because it's not a bad outfit obviously i gave it a b before but this just doesn't fit as well as it does with katie i would assume just based on like i don't know girl i don't know what the fuck happened there but the next one sibylla is the major fairy of justice and she's got a great outfit and it's also quite unique for Winx because it's like inspired by something more witchy, a little bit more earth tone and it is more uh, medieval rather than modern type of attire. So I really, really enjoy it and I think that it's gorgeous and the idea of having a fairy of justice is just such a great idea because i don't know just the fact that everyone gets to be safe when they're in her abode it's just something really interesting to me um i think that that was a really great idea and i'm going to put her in s tier because that is a fantastic design silicia fairy of silica silica is like kind of glass sand basically she's got a crazy outfit going on she's got a very interesting <laughs> outfit you know at first when you look at it you think I, those underwear with like s just plastic skirt on top that kind of is see-through no it's um kind of like a pattern on top of the skirt but the fact that it resembles it is insane um, i do think that it's quite funny that she's got all of this safety floaties adjacent 
accessories going on everywhere this is crazy i low-key love it because it's just so interesting this is definitely not a typical design and i kind of love that i'm always here for something interesting especially because i think this one it's not failing dramatically at what it's doing to compare to like some other outfits that we put in c because of it like for example kylie's outfit right so i think that she's gonna go into b right next to lalina because this is great it's fun it's interesting i do think it's weird that it looks like it's underwear instead of like anything else but regardless of that it's still it's still an interesting outfit and then we've got tinkerbell tinkerbell is from world of winks and she's got two versions of herself like this one the dark one and the light one she's got a great design going on there i think you have to appreciate when winks actually comes through after the four season run because it's rare but when it does hit i'm very grateful for it i truly am tinkerbell is going into a tier she's not as insanely gorgeous and fitting and unique as the girlies in the s tier but she's definitely delivering to like she's delivering a look and i am very grateful for it so this is my ranking of the minor fairies i have heard you guys that you want me to rank designs of other characters minor characters that are not fairies or whatnot and i think that that's a great idea but i'm gonna do it next time because this is already too much i'm at one hour 15 minutes i don't know how much it's gonna be when i'm gonna finish editing but it's a lot okay in any case thank you guys for watching thank you to my patrons i'll see you next time bye bye